Anyone who has been following the cryptocurrency area should heed the lessons that can be learned from the events of the past few weeks. Blockchain technology and the crypto assets it produced were founded on the promise of a revolution in finance. However, in light of the most recent market disruption, it is time to reset and evaluate the possibility. Although cryptocurrencies have been all over the news recently, this represents a small portion of the digital asset market. It is incumbent upon the leaders of the public and private sectors to collaborate to expedite the development of a smart regulatory framework that unites traditional and digital asset systems and is founded on two fundamental principles. Only then will it be possible to fully realize the unrealized potential of the emerging ecosystem for digital assets. Welcome to Crypto News, today, we will talk about the potential crypto reset. Stay with us until the end of the video to learn more. Like and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button to get notified of all the latest updates. Let's jump to the topic. The past of cryptography can be broken down into five distinct resets. Empty Gox, at the time essentially the only Bitcoin exchange in the world, collapsed in 2014 after being victimized by a cyber attack that cost about half a billion dollars. This was the first major Bitcoin exchange failure. The second one happened in 2016 and was called the DAO hack. An attacker managed to deceive a smart contract into handing over Ethereum worth $60 million at the time, which is equivalent to $8 billion now. The third event took place in January 2018, and it was the bursting of the ICO bubble. This set off a downward trend that lasted for an entire year, and it wiped out 60% of the cryptocurrency market, or more than $700 million, most of which were worthless junk tokens. The fourth one happened in March of 2020, when the value of cryptocurrency, along with most other global financial markets, dropped by 40%. Each resetting increased the price market capitalization and paved the road for accelerated innovation. Coinbase and Kraken, the two largest exchanges in the United States, were born out of the ashes of the collapse of MTGOX because the CEOs of these companies realized that people needed reliable venues to acquire Bitcoin. The collapse of the DAO and the failure of the ICO laid the framework for the emergence of DeFi and the popularity of DAOs in today's world, and it's difficult to envision businesses like Tesla buying Bitcoin before the introduction of COVID. The fifth reset began the week before last. It may turn out to be the most significant to date. This time, the $1 trillion market crash was brought on by a sharp drop in the value of hazardous assets as well as the abrupt disappearance of a digital token with a value of $40 billion called Luna, which backed a stable currency with a value of $16 billion called TerraUSD. The value of one UST was fixed at one United States dollar from the beginning, in contrast to the free-floating value of Luna tokens. Between May 7 and May 12, about $56 billion was lost due to the stablecoin losing its peg, which was caused by a perfect storm of greed by immature technology. It's becoming virtually normal for the embryonic cryptocurrency market to experience severe bear markets and price crashes. Think about the fact that the US stock market has only been through five bear markets in the last century, defined as a drop in stock prices of more than 30%. Even though it's only been around for 12 years, the Bitcoin market has already seen several devastating crashes. The most recent decline in the value of cryptocurrencies is another example of how get-rich-quick schemes can triumph over common sense at their most fundamental level. The industry is being forced to confront the idea of leverage in cryptocurrency markets and the loss of so much capital. This is forcing the industry to be honest about whether innovation is just dressed up leverage and could be the death knell for an entire category of assets known as algorithmic stablecoins. According to Mark Yusko, founder of Morgan Creek, an institutional and family investment advice firm, leverage can never turn a poor investment into a profitable one, but it may, and frequently does, turn a profitable one into a loss-making one. And so that's what we've been witnessing in the past few months, and particularly in the past week, just an unwinding of ridiculously high levels of leverage, and in the instance of the Terra Dilemma from the previous week, sometimes known as the Luna problem, it's just a terrible notion and a terrible structure. You cannot use an asset known to be unstable as collateral for a loan on an asset known to be stable. The Terra Foundation, based in South Korea, set out to find a solution to this problem by attempting to address it with an algorithm that would replace many of the methods that contribute to the stability of the US dollar. When the price falls, there is an opportunity for arbitrage in which a UST token worth less than a dollar can be traded for Luna, which is worth a dollar. Theoretically. In addition, 
the Luna blockchain served as the host for the DeFi lending protocol known as Anchor, which offered depositors yields of 20%. To provide some background, the Great Recession that began in 2008 was precipitated by a housing bubble that resulted in the packaging and sale of subprime loans as brand new securities with perfect ratings. Their failure caused investors to lose faith in the market, which in turn had a domino effect on other financial institutions, each of which faced the possibility of incurring exposure losses. In a similar vein, the stablecoin TerraUSD was believed to be unbreakable, that is, until it failed. According to PitchBook, Lightspeed, a venture capital firm with headquarters in Menlo Park and a total of $10 billion in assets under management, is one of the most prominent investors in Terra. They are also one of the first venture capital firms to back the cryptocurrency, having invested in Ripple in 2013 and most recently increased the entire value of its cryptocurrency portfolio to $600 million. Regarding the repercussions caused by what is almost certainly regarded as one of the corporation's most infamous investments, a spokeswoman for the company took a belligerent stance. According to the statements made by the spokesman, we see this as a computing paradigm change that is broader than the ebb and flow of the short-term price of Bitcoin. We are increasing our efforts, particularly in infrastructure, decentralized networking, and novel use cases. If you made it to the end of this video and are interested in knowing more, let us know which part of the video you liked the most in the comment section below. We will appreciate your comment and work to make a video on your desired topic with an account shout out. Please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified of our next video. Thanks for watching.